Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks for You and welcome back to my kitchen. I say this a lot, but do I have a treat for you? This is an old, old recipe. Now, when I say that, I'm completely dating myself because this comes from my kindergarten teacher. My kindergarten teacher's name is Mrs. Steckelberg and she gave each of the kids this recipe as their Christmas gift. And my mom and I have been making this recipe ever since. And it's been, we'll just say quite a few years that we've been making it. It's called Cherry Crunch Cookies. Absolutely spectacular. It's a great old fashioned, vintage, whatever you want to call it recipe. It uses some holiday fruit. Don't be scared. This recipe is good. Give it a shot. I happen to love candied cherries baked properly in the right recipe and this recipe is the one the cute thing about this recipe is that it was copied off on the old ditto machines not sure if you all even know what a ditto machine is but it's that that um, carbon copy paper that goes on a loop of a machine over and over again and leaves a purple copy and that's what this recipe is it's old it's tattered my mom and i years ago had to remember had to write on it and put like what the quantities were because it was so faded and tattered it was going to be gone so we tried our hardest to read what those quantities were they had gotten so faded and we think it's all about right it tastes the same as it did back then so let's get started on this great old-fashioned Christmas cookie recipe for you. Okie dokie, we're gonna start by putting our flour in our dish. And the other funny part about this recipe, it just lists these ingredients and says, mix together, that's it. We're not supposed to cream anything first, you know, just mix together. What do you know? So we put our flour in, we have salt, baking soda, and cinnamon we're putting in. All the quantities and measurements will be in my description down below. And while we're talking here about description down below, down um, right below here is a subscribe button. I would love it if you guys subscribed. All right, so we have our flour, our salt, and our cinnamon in here. We are gonna put our butter in. This is a shortcake recipe, there is no egg. We're gonna put in vanilla and some milk and our brown sugar. Before I put my cherries and my nuts in, I am gonna mix these ingredients together. You'll see on the recipe that I showed you a picture of that it just says mix together. But I'm gonna mix these together first, then put my pecans in and my cherries. I need one of those splash guards. Okay, I've got some butter just sticking in here. It's room temperature butter, by the way. Oh, not melted. It didn't say melted or room temperature. You know, it didn't say cold. It's uh, quite a simple recipe, so there must be some guessing involved, right? Ooh, does that smell good already? Let's add in our cherries and our nuts. Don't let these candied cherries scare you guys. Try it. I'm surprised how good they are when put in the right recipe. I think I'm gonna have to stir it by hand. I made a double batch, so it's a little bit too full for my um, Mixer. Oh my gosh, they look so good. They look just like I remember them. We're gonna divide the dough into quarters and we're gonna put it in some saran wrap and we are going to, see I'm trying not to get my hands real dirty. We are going to put these into some nice tube-like forms and then we're gonna refrigerate that for 30 minutes to an hour. All right, our dough is hard. I actually put mine in the freezer for 30 minutes, so it is ready to go. We're just gonna unwrap it here. I'm 
Might as well keep it on here. We're just gonna slice these off. That one was an end. About three quarters of an inch. Oh my goodness. These look amazing. Does that look like Christmas or what? Now what the recipe doesn't say, and I want to be clear here, is that I'm going to put, just to be a little more festive, I'm gonna try this on a couple of them and just see how it works. I'm putting a green in it. Um, do not put the green, mixing the green and the red. Do you know why? Green and red are complementary colors and it will make mud. Your cookies will look, be brown and ugly. So do not do that. And these ones I'm gonna leave this way and we're gonna see which way looks prettier. Because Christmas cookies are all about pretty, right? We are gonna put these beauties in the oven, 350 degree oven for 10 minutes. So I cut them a little thick. Three quarters inch is a little thick. They're taking longer than 10 minutes. I put them in three more minutes. We'll see if I need to put them in any longer. Ooh, they look beautiful. Oh my goodness, these look absolutely amazing. Spectacular. I'm not sure which I like better, the look with the green on top or without. I think they're beautiful all on their own. It's a gorgeous cookie, so pretty, festive. These cookies are absolutely spectacular. You can see I've already been eating on this one. Mm. They're not super sweet. The cherry just adds um, the sweetness since there isn't a lot of sugar in this recipe. And just slight chew. Thank you, Mrs. Steckelberg, for giving this recipe to me years and years and years ago. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks For You. Check out my other Christmas recipes below. You will love some of the stuff that I'm doing and please subscribe. And also I'd love to hear from you with a comment or a thumbs up.